Yeah, I uh, I'm now I'm kind of nervous to get high before this tank. I'll do it. Yeah, you should get really really high. And I mean, I mean, there's going to be some sh- stuff coming out, you know. Yeah, that's what's going to be weird. What kind of a you know? You start to remember past lives, and then you're not sure whether you made that up or whether you it happened. Have you done this? Uh, past life. I've done past life work. I actually did a past life thing that was supposed to be a birth reenactment, right? Where, is that where you come through all the pillows? Well, there was a thing like that, but see, here's the deal for me. Because I was, I had the cord wrapped around my neck when I was born, right? So this person that we were doing this thing said that has set up your entire life you know whether you know it or not because i i was taken from there and then put in an incubator for a couple of weeks uh. which i considered like a small radio studio <laughs> you know what i mean why am i spending the rest of my life in a glass booth what what you shift know? did you get were you doing overnights yeah, in the yeah, incubator yeah. i mean when you're a kid like that you're just doing what you can do just to be there was great yeah i just like working the board so when i did the past life thing you know which you're under hypnosis then she grabbed my windpipe oh. while i was doing it and so i went through this whole choking experience made it through that she took it back further to like you're in the womb and then i rolled back so far that i started having memories not of this world right what yeah what were the memories the memories were of another life, and there was a beginning, middle, and end. You saw the whole that. life. Yeah, I I experienced it like they were memories, uh, and a couple of things have come up. But uh, I would say I'm a creative person. Yeah, I could you know. Yeah, you can make it. that up. I could go with the bit, you know. So I said <laughs> that to everybody. I go. And they're like, yeah, but there was some real, you know, the personality in this life was not like mine. So you, how was the personality different? Were you more like aggressive, violent? I was very, very shy. Okay. Uh, A stutterer who barely talked at all. Do you know what time frame it was in? Yes, I know the whole exact thing. And I went through, well, not the birth of the life, but from being a kid. Up until something to being killed, remember being killed, which was not so unlike the same feeling of coming into this world choking. So you do that stuff. But, I mean, I'm not willing to say, like some people, I experienced that. But since then, I went through and read different books that I hadn't read before. And a lot of people who've done like therapy sections have had that. There's a book called um, Many Lives, Many Teachers by Brian uh, Weiss, a doctor in Miami, who was doing hypnosis on people and they popped back into past life stuff. Holy so shit. he started to work on it. And he was a guy who, you know, was a scientist, didn't believe in reincarnation or anything, but he started to work from that point on. And also made a lot of money, which you yeah. could consider carny. Yeah, if now, you want to. Did you did you look up like this person? Did you have a name? I don't. I did not have a name, and it's a great fucking question because I was obviously. Because how crazy would that have been if you would have looked it up yeah. and the name? Yeah, that would have been crazy. Um, that would have been fucking nuts because you and here, if like if, if they would have died the same way you here's here's the funniest thing man this so, is the best commercial by the way for this guy's business yeah. <laughs> it's like, but the weirdest thing of all i think was leaving there just like driving home with my chick <laughs> wow that was uh weird uh, I, it was almost like if you were to orgy and blew someone yeah. you know you got all caught up in it yeah now you're driving home later like you like at uh <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts. She just watched you kill a man, yeah. and then you're like, hey, uh, yeah. you hungry at all? Or? Because I've never considered myself religious, let alone new agey. You know yeah. what I mean? I think that's what comes with that whole past life thing is everyone's like, oh, it's bullshit. Right. And then you're like, oh, you're just a charlatan. See, here's here's how I, if I have a, a belief, which is just a... You know, more of a spiritual connection than anything else is that we're all made of the same stuff and we can all tap into 
every memory that's ever been there exists somewhere. You know what I mean? We share atoms. They move around. Yeah, we're all one. Yeah, we're all one entity. If you got far enough away from the universe, it, you know, like when you back up from the Earth, that just looks like one living thing. Yeah. I'm sure the universe is the same thing. Milky Way is one thing. Right. Yeah, I got into Cosmos on Netflix, which goes with pot pretty well. I it talk. is amazingly great for pot. And it's yeah. amazingly for being, you know, a guy who's an atheist running that. Uh, there's a spirituality to science. There's Absolutely. a sense of awe and gratitude in science. I think that show's great because, especially when you're panicking about tiny, insignificant shit, you watch that show and you're yeah. like, what the fuck am I worrying about? Right. There's nothing. We're all just tiny. We're all just dust particles. And who cares if one dust pa particle has a new car or not? Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. Exactly. You know, what does matter? This moment. You know, connecting yeah. matters. To me, connection is the thing that matters. Uh, gratitude, service matters. Those are two things that let you know you're part of something bigger than yourself. And yet, we have to know that since we are separated, there must be something to separation. Like yeah. when these people are like, oh, I just live at one with the universe and I meditate all day. I'm like, this, you're always going to be with the universe. This is your only time to be you. Yeah. You know? Your own opinions. You, uh, right. Put yourself out there. I completely agree with that. Uh, yeah. I always think it, that like um, that individual thought is what separates us. Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean we're, we're so completely different that we can't relate to each other. Yeah. But it is good to have your own space. But the Buddhists seem to forget about the sense of self. They're, they're yeah. so like, let's join in and be one. You're like, yeah, but I am <laughs> me. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> Do you I know, have to I... join everybody? Yeah. Why don't I be selfish for another 50 years?